neighborhoods in San Francisco are as diverse and fascinating as the people who inhabit them. Today we're in the sunset, where we'll join Supervisor Katie Tang for her Discover Your District event series, the inspiration for this show, where we explore San Francisco one neighborhood at a time. Hi, I'm Katie Tang, the District 4 Supervisor here in San Francisco, which is comprised of the Sunset and Parkside neighborhoods. I think what makes District 4 unique is that we have so many different uh, cultures here. We have so many different generations of people uh, with different experiences and that makes it such a vibrant neighborhood. Um, for example, when you go down Irving Street, you could go to a Japanese restaurant, Middle Eastern restaurant, Chinese restaurant, American restaurant. Um, the, the cultural diversity is just what makes it so amazing. My name is Qin He Li. I'm the owner of the Kingdom of Dumpling. 1713 Terra Street, San Francisco, 94116. We make uh, almost 30 kind of different kind of dumplings in the dim sum. Uh, recently, they're more and more popular because the vegetables and the meat are very healthy. That we use the fresh vegetables and the meat on a daily basis. I was really inspired to start a Discover Your District series because I wanted to find a way for neighbors to come and get to know our small businesses in our neighborhood, get to know each other, get to know our office, and do so in a setting that was unintimidating and fun. And so uh, I launched this idea called Discover Your District where we go every month to either one or two small businesses in District 4. And we have done things such as learning how to make dumplings like we are doing here today. Um, so th there's so many different activities that we have uh, exposed our residents to. Today is a very special day. It's the city of San Francisco have the event. We're holding the dumpling class event for San Francisco city. They try to learn how to make dumplings and the knowledge of the dumplings. They love to do it. They, they all enjoy that. This is definitely not my first time making it, so I'm definitely improved a lot, but the first couple times I try to make dumplings, they, they looked inedible, but I hope to improve. <laughs> so aside from just learning how to make dumplings from the experts here today, there's also going to be a very special dumpling eating contest, which is amazing. So everyone has to actually eat the dumplings that they made and see how many they can do. So, well, I'm curious as to how many they're going to be able to down today. Don't forget to mark the dumpling how many you eat, okay? <laughs> they make all different kinds of dumplings. We want them to join the dumplings, eat what they made. So after that, so we have the uh, contest, see how many people, how many pieces of dumplings they can eat, and who will be the winner today.